we're here, and there's two models in this this box. This is our, you know, our, our first multi-model <laughs> kit for um, an expansion. Hooray! Shall we rock, paper, scissors for, for who gets to untwist tie and who gets to... All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Damn <laughs> Like, I think that's the first time anyone has decisively won in any of our videos when we... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's together. true. So, I guess... You get that. Yay! <laughs> Jerk. Alright. Um, let's have a look here. Oh, I see campaign tokens again, because there's no way that weird destruction wall... Um, oh man, that's cool. There's wall here. Where is the, the Peely section? I am not... Haha, uh -huh, who's the idiot now? Oh Wait, my what? gosh. There it is. I want to look at the scenario. Okay, so I'm gonna. After seeing the scenario and the ballista, I'm like interested in every scenario pack now. Oh, there's a reference card for a special rule in here too. Incorporeal. Incorporeal creatures are unaffected by obstacles of any kind. Woo -woo! And look, there is a lot of. This scenario has an awful lot of obstacles you know, on the map. You know, we did just open a ballista, but I'm gonna say so far, worst paint job. Which I love the use of clear resin. Well, I think clear the clear resin, resin is, is cool. cool, especially because that's and the model supposed to be incorporeal. But the metal and then just like the one oh, color the face out there, the face, brutal. yeah. It looks like a bad Tin Man on the um, top half. Let's see here. Uh, Again, uh, yeah, bad I, tin I, man. I love the use of the clear resin. And what's actually interesting is if you are one of those people that repaints. You have to be very, very careful. You don't get anything on that clear, clear resin. resin. Or so you can you take some rubbing alcohol. You, you to don't. Take it off. You know, you're not going to be just priming over this model. You can use clear primer um, in the form of Tester's spray lacquer, aka dull coat. I did that in an, an old video uh, painting tutorial, just as a quick hint. Um, but yeah, I'm really not a fan of this. That that face, especially just does not do anything for me. Um, so so there's some interesting so repaint on. stuff on here. It, it, it's the face. So would you describe this model as, as a butter face? Is that is that a term <laughs> that you would use? We're not going to... Are you not, not, are you not sinking to my baiting levels? I am not going to sink to that. <laughs> um, it's just, the problem with the face is it's painted in yellow and it looks like a happy face on a wraith. Like, it looks like a weird jack-o'-lantern. It, really like, it totally looks like a weird jack-o'-lantern. And I'm not cool with that. Like, that's not cool. That is not cool. Um, that's, I think you can make it look way more sinister. And I think Whoa. I do that. 50 pointer. Oh my god! Lord Maximilian, Dread Wraith, Undead. 50 freaking points. That's. Um, that, oh, that, that is the single most expensive model that we have looked at. Legion points. So far. Lord Maximilian, 90 points, and one wraith with upgrades which cannot include or which cannot include spawn. So that's the scenario in here, and the invaders get 120 points. These are big games, man. 90 points? I mean, you're at 75 just buying your <laughs> oh minimums. Oh my gosh. And 25 points of upgrades, just like that. That's cool, though, but they're not obstructed by obstacles, which is cool. Um, so it's kind of, they are, they have a flight slash ground kind of movement, so which again makes a lot of sense. Um, I dig that, and their movement is like their movement card is totally something. flight slash ground. It's like it's it's the same no matter what. So they can pivot floating, which is super interesting. Which is like that's an interesting dynamic. I'd like to see how it plays out on the table. That's really cool, um, but I also want to see how. Yeah, that's, I I think this whole thing is really cool. I, I really like this, this these elements um, that we have in this pack because it, it hints at great and interesting and strategically interesting things as well as well as thematically interesting things. Um, ah, that's really cool. All right, anyways, um, again scenario tokens in the pack, which is cool. Um, huge fan, huge fan of these scenario tokens. Big stuff going on over here. Um, and yeah, I, yeah, we've got it, we got it in paint. Um, the other thing I've noticed is these adventures have, like, different numbers. Like, this is, um, 3.2. And Sunoff was 3.3. Yeah, 3, the Ballista was 3.5. Um, so it feels like they all elements of a longer campaign, yeah, right? Which is really cool. cool. 
I'm, a, I'm uh, you know, like I said before, uh, Blood Bowl players get the campaign mechanic, and uh, and I really wished that there was more of a campaign mechanic in Star Trek Attack Wing. Um, that was one of the things that I really missed, and, and we're trying to kind of create that. Now, we got a feel for it a little bit with Dominion War, mm -hmm. I guess, because Dominion War, and that's pretty much all of Deep Space Nine's storyline. <laughs> um, but, and it's hard to do that with the Borg, because they're everywhere all the time. They're kind of like this omnipresent enemy. Um, so I felt like the, the collective in Resistance yeah. to Fetalbin has been more scattered, and not as doesn't feel as narrative as Dom the Dominion War it does, at least. Um, but coming back to things like this, and having these adventures, and having campaign mechanics, and having those little storytelling elements really gives me um, some, ex some, some, some more stuff to be super excited about and fangirl over, so... Yay! Alright, um, let's rip open the next couple packs. We're almost done, and I... The more I open, the more I'm like, oh my god, we need, we need to, we need to get game in like. Oh yeah, like, like, now. We, like we need yesterday. a three, we need like, a three by three, and we need to decide who gets good, who gets evil, and make up two hundred point lists. That's gonna, it's gotta happen. It's gonna be happening. All right. I'm whatever faction the frost giant is. <laughs> and if you've watched all of the videos, I think this is proud. Like, if you were playing the uh, unbox, unpackaging drinking game, and you took a drink every time I said Frost Giant, you would not be able to stand right now. Yeah, oh my gosh, you won't Frost stop. Frost Giant. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring your jaded gamer cast bad habits into my wholesome video channel, you... I have watched videos of you drinking some awful things, so I think wholesome doesn't <laughs> doesn't cut it. Okay, 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 yeah. Um, if you do want to go digging for that, I know there's at least one um, on my channel where I drink a raw egg. It happened. I wish it didn't, but it's there. All right, okay, bye. <laughs>